All right, guys, so you asked for a follow-up video on the El Chico, the uh, gooseneck Volkswagen trailer. And although uh, we sold ours shortly after we picked it up, we actually sold it to uh, Oklahoma Bugs. But uh, since then, we actually, a couple years ago, we had a friend of ours on Instagram, uh, Elbows Malone, actually tagged us on a picture of this very bug and trailer combo at a show. Bob, where did you say it was at again? Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs. So Bob, this is Bob over here. He's actually the owner of the trailer. He did all the restoration work on it. He actually had it out to Colorado Springs a couple of years ago, and that's where uh, Elbows Malone saw it, tagged us on it, sent us a photo of it, and uh, we finally made it out here to take a look at it. And one of the things with the original video that we did, you guys were wanting to see, uh, one of the things uh, most brought up was the hitch, how that worked. And the other thing that uh, you were asking about was you know, interior shots of the trailer. So let's start out with the hitch. Um, Bob actually made this hitch. And as you can see here, it sits down in the drip rail. And then there's bolts that actually bolt clear through to the inside of the car. Show you a shot of that. Actually, they're pretty well hidden from with the headliner. There's actually a sleeve inside there as well, so that as that's tightened down, it doesn't uh, crush the, the structure of the roof. Um, Bob said he had to play around with the, the height a little bit on it. Actually ended up using a section of an old Model A frame to uh, get the height he needed for the ball so that the trailer could spin all the way around. Now one thing on our trailer that, uh, that we found originally, um, if you'll notice here, this trailer actually has added structure. And this was done before Bob got it. Um, Bob did make a few changes to it, kind of tighten up the, the spacing and whatnot, and got the actual geometry of the trailer right. But uh, the trailer that we picked up was really weak up here in the, the overshot, you know, the gooseneck. Um, I mean, you could almost lift up on this section of the trailer and the body of the trailer itself wouldn't move. This, this whole area here is laminated wood. And so this, this reinforced frame here basically just helps to kind of sure everything up. And then if you watch, you know, if you look down here, this frame goes all the way down and ties into the axle underneath. So kind of a way to sure this thing up and make it a little more structurally sound when you're, when you're towing it. I was asking Bob about uh, his bug here. It's a 71 Super Beetle, flat window Super Beetle. Has just a stock uh, 1600 in it. <clears throat> and he says it pulls it down the road no problem at 55, 60 miles an hour. And actually seems to handle, handle the trailer pretty good. So let's uh, do a quick walk around this thing and then we'll pop inside and take a look inside. Basically, when Bob got this, it was needed a complete restoration. Pulled everything out and just started brand new. Said he took all of the cabinets and uh, everything inside, used it as a pattern, and then just recreated it uh, from the originals. But everything inside has been recreated, almost exact uh, reproduction of the original parts. All right, let's, uh, let's pop the door open here and take a look inside. So right inside the front door, <clears throat> we have uh, the kitchen area. There's actually a little stove here that uh, is removable. You can actually just slide this fitting here, pull the stove out, and then stow it down underneath in this cabinet here. There's a little sink. Uh, there's also actually, Bob was showing me a gas line here where you can actually take this stove, put it outside on like a table or something and uh, cook outside with it. Under here is just the, below the sink. Moving into here is the bathroom. All this has been, all this is new. All new plumbing. Um, 
There's a shower in here. Up over the front, there's a, there's a bed here. Looks like probably two, three inch foam mattress. Really, actually really good size bed. Um, two, two adults could easily sleep up there. Possibly even three or four kids. Up top, there's a vent. Behind me is a fridge. And uh, Bob was actually telling me, let's see if I can figure out how to open it here. How do I open this, Bob? Just pull hard. Just pull hard? All right. There we go. So there's the fridge. And uh, <clears throat> Bob was telling me that uh, the owner, the, the previous owner, was mentioning that uh, the fridge never really worked. Bob pulled it out, hooked it up, and was working fine. But as he was tearing this apart, he was noticing that in the assembly process, they had pulled really hard on some of the factory wiring and actually pulled the wires apart. And so more than likely this fridge from the factory was probably having some issues. But he got that all sorted out, got it all rewired and uh, got the fridge working good. So now back into this area here, we've got a, a closet, a little closet rod. Furnace down here. And then this would be the I guess the living quarters, the seating area. Got a nice, uh, nice table. It actually will drop down and this area converts into another bed uh, for, for sleeping. But it's actually got a really good size sitting area here with a wraparound couch. It's nice drapes, window that opens up with a screen. But this is actually really pretty roomy back here. Another thing Bob was saying that the previous previous owner had mentioned that right in this area here, there were some stairs that uh, basically came all the way down into this hallway. And then there were, were stairs to, to access that uh, bed up over the overshot. But uh, this is <laughs> this is pretty cool, pretty amazing. I mean, amazing work that Bob's done in here. Um, beautiful restoration. Said that the restoration on the trailer took him probably two to three years. And he actually owned the trailer for a couple years before he ever realized that, uh, before he actually saw the video of the VW and at that at that point, that's when they found the Volkswagen and uh, made the hitch and everything for it and started, you know, putting the package together. Okay, well, that one is to fill the water tank. So this is a water fill here? Yeah. That's just a vent because that's where your converter is. Okay. 12 to 110. Okay, just a vent? Yeah. And then around the back here... Um, which what this water? Is where you can hook a hose to it. So you can it. just have running water yeah. hook up uh -huh. to the campground. And then the plug in there's plug in um, bent for, for water. hot water heater. Yeah. Okay. And it works off of gas only. It's gas. Okay. And then right here we have uh, right here we have um, just the gray water dump. Great. Well, I guess this is this is out of the holding tank and this is out of the shower. So it'd be both dump both. Gray yeah. and black water. See, when I got it, it didn't have this little piece here. Oh, okay. You just so you run your gray that. water out on the ground. Oh, you just run it on the ground. <laughs> and I had figured that might have been all right in 1970, but <laughs> not, not so much today. Yeah. And, and then right here, the propane bottles. If I remember how to open it, it just slides out. It hadn't been open for a while. There we go. Oh, okay. There's what two else? Two and a half pounder, or two and a half gallon. What? I think so. Yeah. yeah little guys. I'm gonna paint them, and I haven't got around to it yet. Yeah. Well, that's great. So there you have it, guys. A couple of questions answered. I know we had some people disappointed because we never really had a follow-up video on the gooseneck trailer, but now we do. We have found this is right now. 
the only one known to exist that is actually restored, functioning, and on the road. And uh, pr pretty, pretty nice example, pretty clean example. Period correct kind of restoration, really the only thing not original to it is just that added frame, which has actually improved, if anything, the handling um, and you know just the usability of this trailer. There you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. We will catch you later.